take a look at this statue, this piece of art behind me, because I feel like it just perfectly represents what 75 is hard about, because that's where most of you are right there. You're stuck. And as you begin to embark on this journey, you start to break free. Then you realize what's possible, and then boom, 75 days later, you open your mind up to the actual reality that you don't have limitations, that those limitations on you are self-imposed and you break free of them right there. And that's the way I'm feeling right now. So I think a lot of people fear ultimately realizing what their full potential is, as in like reaching it. As much as we all say we want, like that's our goal is to reach our full potential, I think there's a little bit of fear in realizing, oh, that's, that's, that was my potential. And one of the things that I love about this trainer that I'm working with, uh, Adam Powell, is there often are times during our workouts, and it's usually in the most difficult parts of the workouts, where literally I'm doing like the last few reps and he'll say to me, on these last reps, think about what you're gonna look like. Think about what you're trying to get to. Think about what the goal is. Like, like envision that body in your mind right now as you're doing these last reps, which is motivating in the moment. But if you really think about that <clears throat> in those other areas of your life, like as you're doing the difficult things now, do it as you're thinking of what it will lead to in the future. And it just, it makes this path become, it's like spotlights are getting shined down the road on this path, but only as you're taking steps. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of this, I think, is being missed by people because they're just sitting back and they're trying to envision and they're trying to think and they're, you know, trying to pray for it and, you know, manifest it and law of attraction. They're trying to bring it into their life, but they're not doing <clears throat> anything to get there. And I think, you know, there's so many areas of our life that we don't realize how much more we have in the tank, how much more that we're capable of. And so it's just in that first and difficult step of taking the first action that all of a sudden that becomes more clear, more real. And as you take that next step, it becomes more clear, more real. That next step becomes more clear, more real to when all of a sudden you look up and you're like, I'm here. Right. But the coolest part about it is when you say I'm here, what you realize is that that potential got pushed out so much further. And this 75 hard journey for me, a lot of what I've been talking about is this idea, and, and I don't think you and I have talked about it yet, but um, that potential actually doesn't exist. That any self-imposed potential, any idea of potential that you have of what you're capable of is a lie. Because every limit you have is self-imposed. Every limit. The cool thing about it is every time you push yourself to that, and, and I would encourage beyond that limit, that self-imposed limit is a little bit further out. And when you realize that what you're, what you think you're capable of is a self-imposed limitation because you're capable of doing absolutely anything. That when you start pushing yourself harder and harder and harder, your potential or your capability just keeps getting pushed out further and further. So you never ever reach your full potential. Right. And so I think there's a lot of people out there that are stuck or paralyzed because they feel like, you, you know, at, you know what, what is my potential? What, what am I capable of? But the reality is, it's just taking those steps and doing the work and realizing that it's not about reaching your full potential. It's about chasing your, your potential. Right.